Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Comfort Level Podcast. Hey. Hey. Should we ease them in more? Or? Let's ease them in. <coughs> let's, give them, let's tuck them in. Let's give them a little crowd work. Yeah. Little Okay, start off then. It's like 11 o'clock at <laughs> night. The person that's watching that right now, like... Like, look at, look at you. Look at you. <laughs> look at you, the one who's watching it right as we release this episode. And it's middle of the day. You're watching us while you're at work or while you're doing laundry yeah. or. Or that person went because I went, ah, and they just heard that. They hit their car, <laughs> jumped over an overpass. I hope you're okay. Into a lake. No. We're sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> and that we care for you. We do care for you. And then when you're listening to the next episode in the hospital bed, we hope that we can. Why would you speak that, that over? You, They're stop. alive. They made you gotta, it. You got to stop. I, I got to quit. I preach life over you. You know what I'm you saying? You made an it. Accident first. <laughs> Two broken bones. No broken bones. Maybe Nothing. A no damaged no car. Accident. Maybe a, a safe. A clavicle sprain. No we safe. Can't stop we don't need any. Accident. We don't need Maybe any accidents. I want work. to stop accidents, but we can't do it. You started the you accident. Started, yeah, you. I didn't start it. I'm the story oracle, so I just foresaw it. You, spoke I you know literally, it. You I literally know said that. Happen. It was you. I know it's going to happen, and I just <laughs> I'm glad you're safe. Well, <laughs> don't look at me when you say that. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. For, uh, <laughs> no, I'm glad you're safe. <laughs> Look at your kid. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm talking to you. No, specifically you. <laughs> you who? <laughs> you who? Hello, everybody. And welcome back to the Comfort Level Podcast. And wherever you're watching us from, thank you for watching thank us. Thank you. And don't let that nurse give you that lunch, okay? She put something in the lunch. The nurse absolutely put something in the lunch. Don't trust it. You Sam's know what? The nurse. You know what? We I gave am. our guesses. We gave our guesses of where they're watching us from. Yeah. But if you guys would like to, you should tell us where you're watching this Please from. So us. whenever we do a call out, it's actually a lot more spot on. People are like, I'm in the hospital. They're actually. like, I actually did <laughs> yeah, just I'm get in a, This was because of you, Sam, and I'm not watching anymore. And I'm done with Everybody, the show because you put this on me. I'm like, I'm sorry. Sam for everything that goes wrong. I'm so sorry. If, it, if it's good, it was probably Brandon who said something. But if it's bad... It was Maddie. <laughs> no, it wasn't. So, uh, <laughs> and, and people are going to cancel the show now, like this next story. Was that on our bingo card? Yeah, yeah it was. To cancel. It was the first cancel one. something. Yeah, she, she just kind of changed it a little bit. So it's like on the line about cheating, but she did it. <laughs> <laughs> the main word yeah. Yeah. was there. Okay, you ready? This is from Relationship Advice. I was stabbed, and now my oh. soon to be ex husband wants to cancel the divorce. <laughs> if anything is grounds for divorce it's a stabbing i've always said that that's like been my mantra but what is what's grounds to cancel the divorce nothing if you got stabbed <laughs> you can't cancel the divorce you stabbed me <laughs> unless you okay. accidentally stab somebody <laughs> which how do you do that i don't know even if you accidentally stab me i don't trust you stay away from me we're divorced <laughs> 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 yeah, you actually tripped you like, oh and i'm like oh <laughs> It's over. Fatality. <laughs> we can't come back from this. <laughs> well, I, 34 female, was stabbed, and my now soon-to-be ex-husband, 34 male, wants to cancel the divorce. My soon-to-be ex-husband and I have been married for 12 years. We got married at 22. About four months ago, he asked me for a divorce after confessing to me that he was having an affair and that he was in love with that oh. person. At first, I took it badly, but I have always said that if there is a third person in the relationship, someone is left out. Mm -hmm. I also didn't want to waste my energy begging for something that I know won't come back. His mother got sick and I had to take care of... What the heck? It's this, like... It's every time with this every guy. Time. And I'll say it again. I said it last time. He's a villain. Oh, brother. His mom got sick and I had to take care of her at night since the lady is quite picky with other people. She always treated me badly, but I still took care of her. This delayed the divorce a bit. I guess they were using me as a nurse or babysitter. A month and a half ago, I was assaulted when I was going to work. I don't have a car, and my husband always drove me to work, but he stopped after filing for divorce. I didn't have much with me, just my cell phone and about $10, so I was stabbed for not carrying much in my pockets. Uh -oh. My emergency contact was my husband and the whole thing. And he now doesn't want a divorce since he says that this altercation opened his eyes and that he really can't imagine a life without me. 
It was going to be an uncontested divorce since this type of divorce is totally free in my country and I'm stingy enough to not want to pay a lawyer's fee. But now he doesn't want a divorce. I'm living with my mother and my soon-to-be ex-husband comes every day to screw up my existence. What do I do to get rid of him? I already made it clear to him that I didn't want anything from him. Besides, I've already hired a lawyer to advise me, but he says that it's taking too long because he doesn't want a divorce. So the husband didn't stab her? No. <laughs> that good. was such a clickbait. That's well, it happened after the stabbing. Oh, that sucks that it's free if it's not contested, but yeah, then it costs money if someone doesn't. I wonder where that happens at. But, uh, yeah. I also think it sucks, too, that he's now finally realizing how much he apparently cares about her now that she almost died when, like, he still did cheat on her and was like, I want a divorce because I don't love you anymore. Right. But I'm like, I don't understand that. I guess stabbing is kind of... Put things in perspective. <laughs> if you want to oh know how God. your bow really feels about you, get stabbed. <laughs> advice from Sam. Bad advice <laughs> from more Sam. The you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> I don't know what you tell. You can say, hey, it was four years that they... They were together for 12. They were married for 12 years. But four years ago, it happened. He was like, I want to get divorced. How long? Four months ago. Oh, four months ago. Okay. Not that long. But I was like, four years for oh, That's even long for a divorce. But just say, hey, I feel the same that I felt before the stabbing. <laughs> I don't want to be with you anymore because you didn't want to be with me. You're like mentally, not physically, yeah. obviously. I'm still recovering physically. Yeah, but, um, I have to be here. <laughs> but if I could leave, I would leave. Well, he, she did leave because now she's with her mother, but he comes by. He's like, hey. And he's like, I love you. I want to be with you so much. <laughs> I love you. <ya."> Just <laughs> because you had a near-death realization doesn't mean I had the same one. Right. <laughs> wait, she should have had it. She yeah. almost died. <laughs> He had it for he her. He should have been stabbed him <laughs> yeah. and like, wait, the person I want to be with is you. My wife. <laughs> My yeah. wife. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Wait, what's what's up with the person you cheated with? I I'd guess he's cheated. breaking up with I'm her. I'm like, okay. So your ex-wife got stabbed. So we, hey. should, we should be happy for that and you're like wanting to get back with her? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's just crazy, I guess, all around. I'll just read the top comment here. Um, tell him that his affair opened your eyes to the fact that he's a dishonorable man who you don't trust, don't love, and don't respect, yeah. and that you can't imagine a life with him. If he keeps showing up, call the police and have him trespass from the property, Ooh. and if possible, get a restraining order because he's harassing you. Also, tell everyone you both know, your family, his family, all friends, that he cheated and left for his affair partner and now is harassing you and adding to your burdens. Yeah. It's like he had like a double life, like this next story. I-35 female discovered my husband, 38 males, infidelity, and his double life thanks to a post on Facebook. <laughs> my husband and I have been married for 10 years and have two children together. He travels often. I also want to say that about eight months ago, I discovered that I was infected with an incurable STD. Oh. He blamed me for this, saying that I was the unfaithful one. Ooh. Well, I was browsing Facebook in a mother's group and the group is for help with children to ask for donations, share experiences and memes. A mother sh <laughs> and, and memes. memes. That's such a uh, <laughs> mom talk. That's such a Facebook thing. Yeah. Yeah, such a Facebook thing. We um, like to send memes. <laughs> <laughs> a mother shared that she would give her husband a laxative tea so he wouldn't go to a soccer game the next day. <laughs> it was all mockery and laughter in the comments of the post and telling her to update the results. I'm a person who likes to read comments, and unfortunately, I saw a profile that had a photo of a woman with my husband. Oh. <laughs> I started watching, and apparently, they got married civilly. My husband created another profile, but he has a different name and surname. Oh. I think that child has his false last name because she uploaded a post when she went to register the child's birth certificate, placed the full name there as if she was proud of it. I posted in the same group now that they give you the option to post anonymously. Several gave me advice and we deduced that possibly the other lady didn't know because of what she shared on her profile. I wrote to her and was surprised that that bitch did know that he was married. Oh. 
<laughs> they had been married for two years and their baby is approximately 14 months old. Although they're not technically married, their marriage is not valid. I hired a lawyer. I took all the evidence and I'm in the divorce process. Since when I complained, he preferred her. He left the house to live with her. Besides, he refuses to give alimony, claiming that he has another child to support. And then if he has to give alimony to my children, he will seek the minimum payment, even if it means he has to quit his job. How do I oh proceed my. with my life? I think I feel very limited in rebuilding my life because of the STD and my children. Are the other kids his? Yeah. So she has two kids with him and he has a kid with that other woman. Wait, does she bring up the STD because the other woman gave the STD or she just bring she, it up? She brought it up because he accused her of cheating, cheating and he, had and she, and he was cheating. I'm so curious how people can do double lives like now. That... Would you know, like, did she notice that he wasn't, or did he have like a traveling job? He was like, oh yeah, I'll be gone for two weeks. Bro had a whole marriage though. And How he, do you he juggle got that? Married, he got a kid. Mm, well, but, they did say when he, when she complained, maybe he just was like, I'm going to go out, you know, and then would be gone for like the whole night or something. I don't know. Maybe they just had problems. Well, I guess the fact that the other woman knew it makes it easier. Cause usually I'm like, you got to lie to both of them. And she's like, why do you only see me at... 8 to 11 every night. <laughs> Very specific. Thursday, Where are you other time? Yeah. Mind. Yeah. Think I got it covered for, for the weekend. weekend. I got to tell you. Oh. Am I in it? <laughs> Am I in it? <laughs> <laughs> song makes me feel like a baddie even though it's a A hundred percent. I love that entire song except the weird ending. It's like, uh, oh, yeah. I'm like, why? Is I get mad. I'm like, it's a perfect song. Cut this. <laughs> that first 30 seconds. Bright ideas. Yeah, we man. Got bright ideas. That's in the song? Yeah. yeah. I have to remind me to play it for you afterwards. But it's the first, like, is it like 45 seconds? It's like <laughs> the most perfect intro to a song, and the drop goes so crazy. Mm -hmm. And it's a great song. And they're like, <laughs> bright ideas. <laughs> we got bright ideas. Ideas. It's like, like, why are y'all screaming in a group? Cut it. <laughs> I'm like trying to saw off my iPhone. Like, <laughs> Who put y'all in the studio? Who did this? They just, it just seemed like they were recording these person. You could hear them. We got bright ideas. Like, someone shut the door. Like, oh, sorry, we were recording. I <laughs> Take that morocco out of her hands. <laughs> but she's like, SZA's like, keep that in. Hey, hey, I like SZA. that. If you ever want to be a guest on the show, you can come. You can explain what happened. Yeah, please. Yeah. Because I need answers. Explain what happened. Mm -hmm. But back to the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the second second week saying that. Yeah. I'm shocked. I'm focused. I'm kind of scared. This means a lot to me. This podcast and these stories. And that we give them the respect that they deserve. That's funny. Yeah, that is pretty funny. Because it's like at any other time you're like, yo, Someone replace me. We find a replacement. You're like, no, don't replace me. And then. Well, yeah. After the whole, like, people being in love with me thing, I'm like, I got to see this Oh, wait. I got to see this through, my guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no. I got to see this through. Cynthia was your stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Yeah, she stabbed me. And I realized I love this podcast. She stabbed the podcast. And that's when you're like, hey. No, she stabbed me, actually. <laughs> we were eating. She actually. <laughs> The pizza, yeah, just yeah. Wow, and I'm like, so dear, and y'all were just talking, y'all were just talking around. And I'm like, and she just went on. She was like, blah, 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 blah. she just went on to talk. Yeah, oh, it was kind of ruthless. It was kind of crazy. <laughs> and I didn't see it. You well, you were over there by Steph. Oh, okay. Steph, Steph was, was here? here. No, this was when we were eating. Oh, okay. Well, Steph when was we here? all when we were out. <laughs> yeah, when we, we out were eating. out eating. Yeah, and you okay. were talking to Steph. Maddie was talking to Sadia while I was getting stabbed. <laughs> and I think kind of Maddie saw it, but she obviously didn't I did didn't not see anything didn't like care that. It, Maybe I'm it's like, the fact that you were taking my guacamole and chips. Oh, so you were mad about it. She tried to play it. She's I wasn't like, mad about she's it. She's like, oh, it's, you can do it. But there was a fire in her eyes. I just wanted to share with my friend. <laughs> <laughs> but Maddie did not want that. Listen. If it would have been a better restaurant and I would have ordered something else, yeah. I mean, I get, I also get you didn't, you weren't paying attention to my order, yeah. but I'm like, this is all I got. But it was, it didn't matter in I the end because it, it was way table. more than enough for one person. <laughs> but I was like, um, 
Because the last time I was there with Sadia, I did order the guacamole for the both of us. Yeah. But I ordered something else because I was like, you know, let me try these tacos. They're going to be so good. That's crazy. No. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes tacos yes. so good. Am I the asshole for eating my friend's guac and chips? <laughs> That's one of the stories I know. And Maddie. And letting him get stabbed. Yeah, I'm like, show me the story. Yeah. And while I'm getting stabbed. I don't remember the stabbing. Oh, okay. Um, was there was like a corner of the table though, so maybe she missed it. But you also didn't register that you were getting stabbed at all. If yeah. anything, you're like, I no, I don't want to. You're like, I you're don't want to like, close oh. the bill out because I want to get another drink and everybody else is closing their bill out, but I won't because I'm different. I you'd, am different. You'd be like, ah, and I'd be like, yo, that's my cousin. What's happening to you? You were not seeing anything. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just looked up. He's like, I think he has to poop. Yeah, that's you know the tacos wanna, are subpar. So you want to shout it out? Actually, you know what happened. I feel bad for Op though. She got like the shortest end of the stick in that. Like, yeah, an, an uncurable, uncurable, a single parent. Your husband's cheating on you. Yeah, you keep like, bro. You can't do anything with that. Well, I don't know. Maybe you can. There's still love out there for you. And you've got such a scum of a guy where he was like, I'm not going to pay child support. And if you come after me, I'm going to quit my job on purpose. So I have to pay the minimum amount of child people support. People You're not going to. I know people do. That's just so like, that's so horrible. Because it's also like, yes, you're not paying as much money, but you're just sitting. Now you don't have any money. Person who doesn't have a job because you don't want to pay child support. I'm fine with that. But then Absolutely. who's supporting you? Somebody's got to be supporting this this my, person. My real wife. My mom. Who's not like legally my wife, but my real one, you know, <laughs> who's been with me since the beginning. And Who not, gave not me the, the beginning, STD. but the middle. <laughs> the well, middle actually, I gave that to her, too, because it was from a different woman. The wife, my, the court says yeah. is my wife. Yeah. <laughs> the, well, the court doesn't. The court's like, that's not your wife. Well, I'm like, wait, it's weird that the other woman knows, but that's dirty. her kid has the name of the fake name fake name how does that how does that work is that legal she's living legal. in such an imaginary world that she was like my husband's a good guy even though he's already married and our marriage is fake i'm gonna name him after the fake name that he's using right. to hide from his wife and i'm gonna be so proud of our relationship and i know that he's cheating that's gross i don't get double lies I don't really get cheating, but it makes more sense to me than a double life. Like just cheating, like, oh, I get caught up and swept up in the fun of the secret bad thing. And then you're like, yeah, but having a whole other like having a house and like a life and you have to take the kids to soccer practice, two sets of kids. Yeah. What are you doing? It's already yeah. hard to pay for what? life yeah. with your fa one right. family. Now you have another family you have to pay for pay for life with. He can't be. He could be rich. Well, well, he's not even actually, no, quitting the job. He's quitting his job. He's he quitting his job. No, he's he gonna... rich. <laughs> now he's got three kids he needs to support. And he doesn't see... Uh, I don't know. Dude, double mm. life. Uh, that's just such a wild concept. Like, And bro. to have social media so brave. Yeah. <laughs> Why does he have another profile? <laughs> With a fake name. <laughs> Why have it? <laughs> if I'm trying to have a double life, I'm like... I'll tell one of my families, I'm like, I'm like a big social media guy, but the other one, I'm like, I hate social media. I never, I never get on it. Because <laughs> like I'm not trying to cold. maintain too safe <laughs> profile. Exactly. Because I'm like, yeah, this is the family that I don't. And you have to remember what I tell this family. And you go back. <laughs> I just do the opposite to the other family. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on vacation like this next story. Oh! I just want to say, I was going to read the top comment. Oh, okay. Um... They just said, leave the alimony and the child support up to the lawyers and the judge. Just tell your lawyer what he said about quitting his job to avoid child support. Because that's illegal, illegal what he's illegal. threatening to do. Yeah. So am I the asshole for going on vacation without my husband? If it was uh, on board with Carl. Yes. <laughs> Shout out, Carl. Miss you, man. That's why we got the repellent. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come Stay back. Stay away from yeah. us. <laughs> Where's the repellent at? over there oh yeah it's on that set yeah shout out call spring <laughs> shout out there's so many stories of people just like don't want to be with their spouse i'm like why did you get married <laughs> spending all this time just to be away from them <laughs> i feel like that's the conversation that we had a few weeks ago of settling yeah because i think people that's the one thing i, I was i was saying and i everybody in the comments they all make good points too they're like what you said it's realistic that people 
and women are going to potentially settle for, you know, they might sacrifice looks if everything else is taken care of. Um, They were just saying that it's a lot more realistic that people would settle than you think. And the only thing that I worry about, though, is with some people settling, not everybody, is as they become even more unhappy because they're like, "Uh, I mean, this benefits my life, but do I love you? Do I want to be with you? Which I guess that's not everything because yeah. arranged marriages are a thing and people end up being really happy depending. Yeah. But I feel like it leaves opportunity for people to maybe look for the the green. They stick with what they have for now. And if they meet somebody better then they're like, Carl, he's my friend. But I don't, I don't, I don't even think the whole seeing something better is even, even if you find someone you're like, I am into you. You are hot. I'm attracted to you, your personality and everything. You can still go and like, oh, that person is slightly better. I'm going to go after that person. Mm-hmm. That's why people are still cheating, even though they found supposedly the love of their lives. They find someone who makes them feel good in a bad time and then they just leave. Yeah, I heard cheating is 100% about the person that cheats and never about the person that they're with. A thousand percent. Mm-hmm. It's always about what's what their insecurity is on right. the inside. Right. But yeah. I can't necessarily name what that is, but well, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. You better not know what it is because that's my cousin. You're dating him. Yeah. So you better not even know what that feeling I is. I wasn't thinking about me. I was <laughs> thinking about people that I know that have cheated. And I'm like, <laughs> I kind of wanted to get inside their mind, but also No, you don't I need don't, to get inside their mind. I was like, I was gonna say it's pretty close <laughs> to home, so I don't wanna know why they did what they did. Yeah. So never in a way to Ever cheat? I would never cheat on Brandon. Have you guys ever cheated? No. no. Oh, okay. Cheating it. <laughs> and like I said, <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> but not. I love that. <laughs> but it's so funny. I'm like, it's so it's such a lie. <laughs> yeah. No. Me neither. Black man. Black Sam. Man don't me cheat. neither. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. I have, I'll leave him anonymous, but I had one friend I was talking to, and he was like, he was like, I literally cannot cheat. Like, <laughs> he's black, but he's like, I can't. Like, I thought about it, and I literally started shaking. He's like, I got oh, in the wow. car. I went there, and I was like, I can't do this. And he's like, I just went home, and I was like, bro. Wait, he was on his way to do it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Who is it? <laughs> hey, dude. How would you even get that far to like go yeah, out and do that's, it? Like, that's, that's reckless. I wouldn't even like, like uh, even like to the point of like thinking about it a little bit is too far. Like, I'll think about it a little bit. <laughs> but that's it. You can't entertain it. That's going to the place. <laughs> and then was this recent? No, it wasn't recent. Especially like Tina's is just so left field to me. Like it's just like yeah. bro, like. Then are are your words just like hearsay? Like yeah, <laughs> I would never cheat because I've seen firsthand the impact that it has on people. Yeah, and I know that if I were cheated on, like the the image that I've seen, I couldn't trust Brandon anymore. Right. Like even if we tried to work on it, I I think that there's an there's a there's a certain amount of grace for people that have cheated in the past and then somehow they get back together and they're good because I don't think that could be me. Mm-hmm. And we've talked about this before. We're yeah, like, neither of us were like, that can't be us. Couldn't be me. Yeah. Because the trust, it's so hard to rebuild. It's always going to be a thing of the past of like, well, what are you doing? Even if it literally is nothing and you were to never, ever have those thoughts Ugh. again, yeah. it's always just like, well, he did it before he did it and before. I stayed and with he him. Said he wasn't going <laughs> to do it then. So I got soft cheated on. It was in the talking phase. Not by me. Yeah, I was. I immediately said, man. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like <laughs> tell Sam. me about this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Right. Thanks, dude. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> I got cheated on my first girlfriend, cheated on me. Mm. And I think that's what colored my perception on cheating. I'm like, it was seventh grade. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you going to kiss him too in the back of the school? Oh. Mm. And then next quarter, she tried to get back with me. And, and you guys were like actually official? Yeah, we were actually official. Wow. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. She came back and you're like, my money up. I said, nah. <laughs> I'm surprised because thinking about what kind of person I was back then, I, it's weird that I didn't take her back because I was like, I'm, t- <laughs> I'm taking 
take anything. But I actually was like, nah. Yeah. I'd take anything yeah. but you. Yeah, for some <laughs> reason, I like had self-respect for that one particular thing because I didn't have a lot of self-respect back then. But you're like, for this? There's a lot of people watching, and I'm going to say there no. There was nobody watching. I don't, think, I don't think anyone even knew we were dating. But I was like, I got to watch out for me. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to break my heart again. <laughs> Am I the asshole for going on vacation without my husband? My husband, 32 male, and I, 29 female, planned a week vacation to New Orleans in the U.S. We, but mostly I, have been planning this for months. Back in March, I told him I would plan most of it, where to go and what to do, and all he had to do was make sure he had the week off and buy the plane tickets. I spent the last few months researching what to do. I booked the hotel room, made reservations at places we wanted to try, and I made a list of all the sites that I wanted to see. Every few weeks, I would check in with my husband to see if he had asked off and bought the tickets yet. He would say that he was waiting for the plane ticket prices to go down. Three weeks ago, I reminded him and he said that he got off work for the days, but he forgot to get the tickets. He looked online and the tickets were close to $1,500 per ticket. He said that he was going to wait some more to see if they would go down. <laughs> Last week, I asked if he had bought them yet, and he said no. We looked again, and the prices were still high, and he said that he wasn't willing to spend that much on them and asked how much money I would lose if I just canceled everything. He offered to have a nice staycation here instead. I told him that I'm not willing to cancel everything because I spent so much time planning it. We argued, and we didn't come to a conclusion. I wound up buying just one ticket for myself, and when I flew out on Saturday, I told him that I was still going, and he acted all surprised that I didn't want to stay home with him. I'm in New Orleans now, and he's blowing <laughs> up my phone saying that I'm the asshole for still going without him. He's trying to get a ticket to come too, but I told him <laughs> if he came, he's getting his own hotel room because oh. this is now my vacation away from him. Oh. Am I the asshole? <laughs> <laughs> She said, I had Ooh. enough of you. I don't think she's the asshole for that. I think if you're you're planning this whole thing and you'd ask them just, and I know this is a whole other incompetence thing, maybe technically, you're asking him to do one thing, get right. time off work and just get our tickets. And he chose to wait whether he forgot or he actually chose to wait. And then time goes on and he's like, okay, I forgot to buy the tickets. At that point, I'm like, we have to buy the bullet and buy these tickets because I planned this whole thing for months. That's your fault that they're more money. Right. And the fact that he didn't want to do it, I'm like, okay, well, then I'm still going to go because I planned all this stuff. So I don't think she's the asshole for doing that. No, I agree. Maybe a little bit just for saying if you do come. Yeah, the hotel is a little you bit You got to get your own hotel. <laughs> yeah. Even though... When you're in a fight, you're like, I don't want to spend time with you. We're, yeah. I'm mad at you right now. So it's hard to be on vacation like, and then just be in the same room as the person you're mad at. Because I've been on vacations with like my ex-girlfriend and we're mad. And you're like, oh, so uncomfortable. <laughs> you're like, I don't want to be here, but we're on vacation. We pay for this. There's only like, one bed in here? Yeah, there's okay. only one bed. And you're like, oh, my God. I it will remember it was in Vegas. We had got we had like started fighting in the middle of the thing, and then she's like, "I'm leaving," and she walks out of the hotel and just starts walking down the strip. And I'm like, well, "I can't let this chick just be on the strip out alone." So I'm like, following five her. feet behind her, just following her. And we walked around for literally an hour, and then she finally walked back into the room, still ignoring you, still ignoring me. Oh and no! And then we just kind of like slept so far away from each other in the bed, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. This is the worst day ever. <laughs> it sucks. So I get not wanting. Actually, I'll take that back. I get hers like, yeah, you got to get another room. You can't. But I'm trying like, to live it up. What if they make up? It's, it's, it still doesn't remove that time because we made up in the morning. We kind of made up, but it was just to get through. But I'm like, it's still a damper over the whole thing. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think she's an asshole. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she... I don't think she is, but yeah, I don't know. At least for me personally, I think the the hotel room. Yeah, like there there could have been a chance to reconcile that. Well, because if money was the problem, you're spending even more money. You're like now he just bought a ticket. Now he's buying another hotel room. We're like, I thought we cared about money because now we're going broke. This is costing double what it would have <laughs> if we just did it. I but think he cares about money. She doesn't. 
Well, yeah, because because she's, she's like, live it up. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, we're gonna go Nowers. on this trip. You're the one that waited so long. Now it's fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna get a ticket for me at the very least. You know. She said, "I'm a do me." Do they have a joint? Is this her fun money account or what, how is this situation? I don't know. Do they have joint money? Yeah, because it's like, because and in the grand scheme of things, does him buying his own ticket and room screw up their financials right. together or? <laughs> Cause in a fit of rage, if you're just like that mad to the point, you're like, no, you, you put us in this. We horrible. ain't paying for our mortgage next month. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Cause I'm coming. <laughs> get the room right next to hers. Like. You get the, uh, uh-huh. what, is, what's the best room in the hotel called? The penthouse. He gets the penthouse. Uh, he's like, I'm spending everything. You want to come sleep with me tonight or what? She's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. You, you might as well. This He's is like, gonna huh? be the nice, the nicest bed you're gonna get in a couple months after <laughs> yeah, this. Because we're homeless. This now. Tr- <laughs> I did refinance yeah. the mortgage yeah. after this. This was our kids' college fund. <laughs> <laughs> our kids are gonna have to do <laughs> yeah. summer school after this one. <laughs> poor kids, man. Poor, poor kids. So, top comment. Um, not the asshole. I don't know what the F your husband's deal is, but he acted like a real asshole. I don't know if he deliberately sabotaged the trip or just didn't care enough to follow through on his tiny piece of things, but you were absolutely right to not let him ruin the trip for you and sure as hell shouldn't be booking an expensive ticket to come join you now. I hope he'll be ready with a massive apology when you get home. And somebody else said, agree with everything you said here. This reeks of intentional sabotage. Mm. So they think it's on purpose. And then somebody else said, not necessarily to me. It just easily shows incompetence or arrogance. He thought he would get a cheap price later and didn't arrange a contingency plan and is now lashing out because he messed up. So I guess there's two sides to the coin on Reddit right now is was it on purpose or was he just being right, lazy stupid. and not thinking about what would happen if the price doesn't go down? I don't, I don't even know if it matters. It has the same effect anyway. If you were lazy, I'm mad. If you did it on purpose, I'm mad. I'm mad <laughs> e- either way. Yeah. And I don't even trust that you even do this. You can't follow through on anything. You're not even probably going to buy a ticket. I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> we'll you're, see. You're not going to make it here. <laughs> I know you won't. Yeah. So good luck. Dang. <laughs> we'll see if you make it down here. Oh, wait. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. Like. If it was intentional, literally, what would he gain from it being intentional? I I think it was more so he was just not thinking things through because just the way he's doing the whole going about getting like vacation time, like it takes two seconds to get (laughs) I know it's so time, and it took you that long to do that. I don't think I don't think it was intentional. I think he's just dumb. (laughs) He just dumb or he don't care. He don't care. He doesn't care. (laughs) But a mistake like that will have you meeting the parents like this next story. Very good. I it knew. won't have you meeting the parents, though. Am I <laughs> like, right? On a bad note. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Am I the asshole for laughing when my son came home from meeting his girlfriend's parents because he chose to behave like he does at home? <laughs> no. Nope. My son burps a lot while eating. I've tried telling him multiple times that it's rude. I've told him to slow down so that he doesn't allow air with his food. I've told him that it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. My wife will instantly jump to defend him. She'll say that's just the way he is and that's not his fault. The thing is, he can choose to control himself when I remind him. He just chooses not to. He just went on a date with his girlfriend last night and she tore him a new asshole. It was his first time meeting her parents since they live in another city. They went out to a fancy restaurant and he burps all the way through supper. He came home almost in tears from her chewing him out for behaving like a jackass in front of her family. I heard him telling my wife about it and I laughed. She asked what was so funny. And I reminded them both that I tried dozens of times, if not hundreds of times, to teach him table manners and he rejected them and she protected him. I said that he's now a grown man and that he has to learn the hard way. They both think she overreacted and that I'm the asshole for being amused by this experience. So what's she got to do with it? (laughs) what like the the like the mom what she got to do with it like that's just her reaction i feel like this is one of the best parts about being a parent yeah you, you like tell your kids to do something they don't listen and then it hurts them it's funny <laughs> i literally told you not to do that then you did it i am gonna laugh 
probably. You're like, I warned you. Yeah, yeah I okay. Warned, several times I warned you. This ain't got you nothing it. to do with hair. It's hilarious. The mom? Yeah. For what? laughing. Why do you keep saying that? I don't understand what you're saying. Like, <laughs> it's just like the full circle. Like what Sam's just talking about. Like, like she's asking if she's the, the a-hole, but it's like. It, it's the, it's the dad. Oh, wait. The dad is? The dad is telling the story. Yeah. Oh, okay. The mom is defending the son. I got that part mixed up. The dad's telling the story? Yeah. The dad wrote that? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was coming from the mom. Yeah, No, because he's saying his mom keeps defending him. He's like, I'm trying to tell my son. Oh, the dad. Yeah, he's like, you need to stop eating so fast. And the mom will be like, relax. That's just how he eats. Oh, okay. I I got the same thing. I somehow switched it. I don't think he's yeah. the asshole. Right, 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 right. I don't right, think right, he's right, the right, asshole right, right. for, like you said, correcting his son and being like, listen, it's funny. I told you not to do that. It's rude. And now you go try and be with your girlfriend and meet her family for the first time. And she yells at you because you're embarrassing her. Right. Because I've told you that you need to stop. You need to have some table manners. I think it is interesting, though. I guess maybe he's like a mama's boy because the mom is defending him through and through. But I think this is kind of shows what happens when you kind of defend your kids maybe a little bit too much over things that you shouldn't be defending them for. Like you should know table manners or else somebody else is going to correct you. If, right. if you're not if you're if you're not going to be the one to correct your kid, there's going to be somebody out there that's going to correct them, whether they're right or not. So they will come home and be like, I'm upset. I just got corrected in front of everybody. This is embarrassing. And it's like, well, you deserve it. <laughs> should I go to the top comment? <laughs> yeah i think okay. yeah i think we said everything not the <laughs> asshole i laughed at this how old is your son doesn't matter either way but there are times for this behavior dinner at a restaurant is not one of them girlfriend did not overreact hopefully he learns a valuable lesson from this op responds that his son is 22 am i the asshole for dumping a kid's lunch in the trash can <sighs> <laughs> These stories are heavy today. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> don't do that, please. I don't know. So, <laughs> my 25 female sister bought my daughter, six female, a bento box that costs $50. Before anyone gets yeah. on here trying to tell me shit about why a six year old needs a $50 yes, lunchbox, me. <laughs> it's not your money, so it doesn't matter. Oh, my God. Okay. Thursday, must after, be okay. Thursday after school, my daughter came home and while I'm packing her backpack, like I usually do, I noticed that her bento box was not in there. And when I asked her where it was, she stated that a girl in her class named Audrey had taken it and refused to give it back. I asked if she went to her teacher and she said yes, but her teacher told her that it's just a lunchbox and it shouldn't matter. Now, Audrey's name isn't new to my household. She and other girls always picked on my daughter. And no matter how many times I went to school about it, nothing was done. So I was pissed to say the least. The next day, I went to school 30 minutes before lunchtime and requested a meeting with the teacher and the principal. They brought my daughter down and I explained the situation and they had someone get Audrey. Audrey bought the lunchbox to prove that it was hers, but I asked her to open the lunchbox because my daughter's name was inside. And lo and behold, when she opened it, there was my daughter's name clear as day. When I requested that she give it back to my daughter, she began crying. The teacher asked if it would be okay if Audrey kept it for the day since her food was already in there. And I said, no, they had five minutes to find somewhere else to put her food or I would be dumping it. Instead of finding her a closed container, they began arguing with me. So I stood up, grabbed the bento box, and in front of all of them, I threw the food out in the trash can. Grabbing my daughter's hand, I walked out of the office with the bento box, leaving them to comfort the crying girl. (laughs) Hours later, I told my sister what happened, and she said that even though she thought that I had the right to be mad, that I could have just let her have it and that she would have bought my daughter another bento box. I feel like it's the principle, though. Why would she have to buy something again for my daughter that she already had because some entitled kid wanted hers. Am I wrong? Uh, no. That's fun. That's fun? It is fun. That's cool. so crazy, though. How old were they? Six. Six. Oh, six. Oh. <laughs> That's what? Because before I was like, why doesn't Audrey know how to read? Can't she read names? <laughs> but maybe she actually doesn't know how to she read. She genuinely did not know. <laughs> so she she says Audrey. She's like, this is mine. <laughs> because like, you know, when people would write their name and they say like, this says Sam. Yeah. <laughs> and they go like, 
<laughs> so she didn't know how to read because she was like confident. She's like, confident. She's like, this is mine. This is mine. They're like, go. On. What does that say, Audrey? She's like, Audrey. Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't know it was six. It, I was thinking they were like twelve or something. That's crazy to do to a six-year-old. That's. But to dump it out. Wait, what kind of food was it? So I'm guessing it was like loose food in this bento box, mm-hmm. like compartments and stuff. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> you can just dump it on the desk or something. You had the. Well, okay, so let me read the edits then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so edit number one, I'm saying that I should have just taken the food out of the box and realizing that none of y'all know what a bento box is. And I'm unsure on how to add a picture of it. So please just Google it. You can put actual food in there, not packaged. That's the best way that I can explain it. It's for like example, sushi stuff. Hmm? for like soup and sushi, sushi. Like bento boxes. For example, if my daughter wanted soup, I would put soup in there and it would stay warm all day. Edit number two. Uh, there is more of an explanation because I can't answer this to all of you guys. One, Audrey did not starve. I did not leave her without a lunch. The school offers free lunches. Two, she can afford her own damn bento box. We live in a fairly high class neighborhood. She took my daughter's bento box because she's a bully. Three, I went to the school board and principal plenty of time where they said that they would handle it. And in fact, nothing was handled. Four, I don't care if I have to act childish. For my child, I would do anything. A lot of y'all are not parents and it shows. Five, my daughter will be switching schools at the end of the semester. Because when I read it, I was like, I don't know if I could dump the lunch out in front of the kid. But also, I would be furious too if nothing had been done and she clearly has my daughter's lunchbox. Right. And then as a way to solve the situation, you ask me to, so so she if, if, can she keep it for the rest of the day? No, she can't keep it. Right. You know, I, I think it's a silly situation, but even what she said at the end of, I should have put the food somewhere else where she could actually eat it. But no, that's crazy. You stole my daughter's lunchbox. I brought it into the office. They could clearly see that it wasn't hers. And they're on the side of the bully right. who's been constantly bullying that girl, it sounds like. So I'm sure that mom was just fed up and she was just totally mama bear mode. She's like, you right. will not mess with my daughter right. anymore. That's why I was just like ripped out a notebook paper and just put it on the paper. <laughs> what do you mean? I got you. Oh, put the food just like. Just the soup. Yeah. I was like. Just soaks it up. And then wrap it up. I'm like, I, here you go, Audrey. <laughs> Yeah, like at least something like that. Like, don't just throw the co- all their food. But I'm, but I get what you're saying too. So I'm like, because if that were my kid and somebody would be constantly bullying my daughter, you would dump it on Audrey's head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but I would. I can feel her frustration where the administration that's supposed to be protecting my child is this isn't not right. doing anything and is kind of supporting in a way the yeah. bully. You know. Well, she has it now, right. so can she just have it? Yeah. When you say it like that, no, that triggered me because <laughs> I could see it now. Just first person, like, oh, well, she did bring her lunch. In. Well, yeah, because yeah, did they, she had to, Audrey was saying, oh, this is mine. And the staff was like, yeah, they're saying it's hers. So that means they didn't research or do anything. She probably said it was hers. And then the mom was like, okay, well, can you go, can you open it for me? And then she was like, that is my daughter's name right there where I told you it would be. And so that's when they're like, okay, well, can she keep it for the rest of the day? And she's like, no, you need to give me, you need to have five minutes to find something else for her to put it in because she did give them that option. But then the school was like, well, um, because you know there's containers in the teacher lounge. Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because it's kind of like someone stole your car and they the police find (laughs) it and they're like, Okay, so it is your car, but can they just... She did put gas in They don't have a way to it. get home, so can they drive it to their house and then you can get it later? Because she did put about $20 of gas in it. And they're like, okay. What like, do you say? No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to siphon out the gas, spit it out into the trash can. No, spit it on their shoes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Light a match. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm just a humble car thief. <laughs> a humble car thief? <laughs> I'm but a humble car thief stealing cars for not. you. <laughs> anyway, top comment. <laughs> not the asshole. No one seems to be holding Audrey accountable for her actions. You showed her that there could be consequences for bullying and stealing from your daughter. In that sense, you protected your daughter and provided Audrey with some needed discipline. It seems bizarre to give a not the asshole judgment to an adult who threw away a child's lunch. However... <laughs> You've done every right thing you could do trying to give your child a safe environment. Doing something wrong might have been the only way to improve the overall situation. Hmm. 
I think that's where my conflict was at first. I was like, that's just it, something about it feels wrong, but it's it's all right. It's all right. Am I the asshole for telling one of my daughter's classmates to F off about what I put in my daughter's lunch? I thought you might. Am I the asshole for stealing my classmates' mental <laughs> box? Like, oh, it's our first duel. <laughs> there has to be a dueling story. Somewhere. It's usually like a, a there was one I saw on like a TikTok for you page. It's That's usually like what I want. the husband responding to like yes. the wife being like, oh, he did all this stuff to me. Like, you forgot this side yeah. of the story. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find those. Yes, that would yeah. be a good one. Am I the asshole for telling one of my daughter's classmates, mom, to F off about what I put in my daughter's lunch? For some context before the story, I, 38 female, cook Asian foods regularly for dinner and for my daughter Lily's seven female lunches at school. This is because my family enjoys these foods. I love to cook these foods and my mom cooked a bunch of these foods growing up since she's half Japanese. Oftentimes, I either give my daughter some leftovers from last night's dinner, put a fruit slash veggie in a snack, or I'll make her a quick little bento box or some other thing really quick. So it's these bento boxes. So after school one day, my daughter wanted to play on the playground for a bit before we went home. I said we could play for a few minutes and she ran off to go play. I was waiting next to the other parent who will call Deborah. And while I was waiting, Deborah came up to me. Deborah said, are you Lily's mother? I said, yeah, I am. Why? <laughs> she said, well, your daughter's lunches have been bothering my son and I would like to ask you to pack something else. I said, what? How are they bothering him? <laughs> what? She then proceeded to start talking about how her son was complaining about my daughter's lunches smelling terrible and that he thought it was disgusting. She also said her son didn't eat most of his lunch because he was so grossed out. I said, okay, I understand your son doesn't like the smell, but he can just go sit somewhere else. Deborah said, are you kidding me? My son shouldn't have to put up with whatever crap you make your daughter bring to school. It's disgusting. And she started making some vaguely racist comments, but I was fed up at this point. I said, listen, I understand your son might not like my daughter's food, but he can easily just not sit next to her. I'm not changing what my daughter's lunches are because you and your kid don't want to exist near Asian food. F off. She angrily stomped off with her kid and then my daughter finished playing soon after. So we went home. I talked to my husband about it and he said that maybe I shouldn't have told her to F off to avoid bothering us in the future. Am I the asshole? I don't Get think em. so. Nah. Get him. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Get him. I think that's pretty bold of Deborah to be like your food my son's sitting next to your daughter and he doesn't like the smell of your food. And so I'm going to ask you to change your way of cooking that right. you've been doing your whole life instead right. of him going to sit somewhere else. And her not thinking that that's, she's like, that's a really good idea. I'm going to go up to her and say that. This is a solution. And I'm going to say some racist stuff too because yeah. I'm being ignorant. Mm -hmm. Good job, Deborah. Well, it makes it make sense if you start, if you add racist stuff. In <laughs> You're like, oh, this is that kind of person. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess. You're the person who would say that. Of course you're racist too. Why are you bringing that into my country? Right. Get your food out of here. Get your food out of here. Hair loss. We in America, Seriously. we eat French fries. <laughs> the Frenchier, the and better. We, and, and that's authentic American food. Forget the fact that it's French fry. <laughs> it's, Is it French? I don't think it originated from there. Where did it originate? It's not from here, though, I don't think. Germany? The burger came from Germany. I know that. You want to know why? Hamburg. Hamburg, Germany. Oh. Hamburger. Germ the burger did come from Germany. Hamburg. Hamburg. Yeah. We're gonna there's so many comments that are like that's not true, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know it because I saw Tom Holland say it. Oh, whatever Tom Holland says is true. Because he was doing an interview with some guy who is an American and he was like so, you know, you've said that American food in the past is not good, but what do you think now about American food? And Tom like looks at the camera and he looks at the guy and he's like, what is, what do you think is American food? And he's like, I don't know, maybe a French, fr French fry. And he was like, a French fry? <laughs> and he was like, or a, or a hamburger. And he was like, okay, well, hamburgers were made in Hamburg, Germany. And so I was like, Tom's right, I guess. I'll just believe him. Didn't. In No Way Home, wasn't he lying to MJ about like, who he was? <laughs> so I'm like, that I don't know if I'll ever trust that him again, right? Tom Holland, that was Peter Parker. <laughs> no, I looked at him like, that was, it looked like Tom Holland to me. <laughs> oh, is that his Peter brother? Parker. Is he not your Spider-Man? Not my Spider-Man. Actually, <laughs> actually, is he? Because I don't 
I don't care about Andrew Garfield. You don't like Toby? I think Toby is my Spider-Man, but I don't want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Miles so, Morales is my Spider-Man. Miles Morales okay. is dope. Miles is mine too. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking that on. Miles is mine. <laughs> Miles is mine. Even though I'm not mad at Tom Holland, but he is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Peter Parker. Wait, so is Peter Parker his brother? Who is Peter Parker? Peter Parker is somebody different. That he played a role. Because I thought it was a documentary about how <laughs> Tom Holland and Zendaya got together. <laughs> and he was also a super <laughs> <laughs> so but you think like the like the guy with the rings on his hand the the rocks on his hand was real then yeah but nobody like whisked away and, and that didn't no happen. one i knew but it was just people i didn't know who were gone <laughs> huh and then they came back you ain't never met iron man you in air all the time Mm-mm. that was my guy yeah man. you ain't man, never seen so, the iron man you yeah. No, I've no, I've never seen that. There's like one downtown. There's yeah. like two or three downtown. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like these stories are so straightforward. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, you're bad for being racist <laughs> and telling me what I can cook for my son. I think that's a good point. Yeah, I can't even see how you would argue the other side. There's just no way you can. Unless someone made chitlins and brought to school then that's, that that's fair that's a major that's valid. crime that's a crime chitlins to everyone are are just inconvenient because then at that point would you give the food away like this next story very good no one would take it i don't know why no, one would no take one's it. taking chitlins <laughs> am i the asshole for not entering a queue for the second time when my girlfriend gave her food away to a homeless man I-24 male was out with my girlfriend, 25, tonight, and we were in the city center. It was crowded, and the queues for everything was extremely long. There was a food truck that sold tacos that she really wanted to try. The queue was very long, and she got tired really quickly, so she sat on the bench while I waited in line to get her tacos. After about 30 minutes of standing in line, I got her tacos, and we started walking to a nearby restaurant to get myself some dinner before we head home. On the way there, there was a homeless man sitting down in the street, and before I know it, she diverted towards him to hand him her food. I thought that was pretty sweet, actually, and we continued walking. And then she asked if we could go back and get more tacos because she actually really wanted to try them and didn't want food from where I was going. I said, the line is even longer now (laughs) than when we left, and I just can't stand in line for another 30 minutes again. I said she can pick a restaurant and we'll go get food there. But she insisted that she had those tacos on her mind all week and she really wanted them. (laughs) You had them. (laughs) You had them. I said the line was even longer by the time we left and it wouldn't make sense for us to go back and for me to stand there all over again for those tacos. She said she'll compromise and stand there till she gets tired and then we can switch, which would be like 10 minutes maybe. (laughs) I said I'm extremely tired and fed up because of the long day I had and I would really appreciate if she didn't push this and we can get them next weekend. She said, I didn't ask you to go to war for me, you know. All I asked you to do was stand there. So I said, if it's nothing, then you won't need me for it and you can stand in the line yourself. She didn't say a word to me the whole way home. Am I the asshole? No. No. (laughs) I would say the same thing, and I know I would get in trouble with whoever I was dating. Like, I get them being mad, even though I don't think they're in the right, but I get saying they're like, we did it. I did the good thing. You did a very nice thing as well, and I would congratulate you, but I'm not doing it again. It sucked the first time, and I don't <laughs> want to do it again. I think also pulling up that whole, I didn't ask you to go to war for me. It's like. That's when you sealed what? it. Yeah. <laughs> then you hey, go. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't that hard. If it's not war, then yeah. why are you yeah. not standing in line? But that and um, he also very clearly communicated, hey, you know, I did it the first time, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I'm having a really long day, so I would rather not. And she just like throws that in his face like, bro. He did the first time on a And he did it just for her. He didn't even get food there. He was yeah. going to another place to get food. That's crazy. Yeah. I totally agree. I think I think the girlfriend is is maybe taking advantage of her boyfriend a little bit too much because he didn't even need to stand in line the first time. Like right. you said, that was a really nice thing. Yes, her giving the food away, but she should have thought about the fact of if she wanted to actually try the tacos, then maybe give him some of the food right, or right. not all of the tacos or... 
yeah, go stand back in line if you really want to try those tacos because you just gave them away. And yeah, your boyfriend, it's not his job to do all of this stuff for you. Right. He was nice enough to do it for you. So. Or how about you get this homeless man? You gave him some food. Something else. You want to stand in line? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going there. The second you said homeless man, I said, oh, hey, no. you want to stand in line for me? I gave you tacos. I'll no, give you these tacos. He's just spectating it, though. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh. Okay. Oh, snap. They're having this fight in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even walk away. It's just like, so can we go back in line? Then he's like, <laughs> Do you guys want to uh, act it out? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Who, who is who? Is wait, who? wait, who's um, homeless man? Okay, I'll be homeless man. Girlfriend, boyfriend? Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, girlfriend, boyfriend, homeless man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, I'll be a homeless man. I was going to say, I could be homeless man. <laughs> All right, do 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 do. I'm sitting at a bench waiting for my boyfriend to give me tacos. Oh it's been gosh. a late night. It's been such a long day. This taco line is just taking forever. Babe, when's the tacos gonna be ready? Yo, I'm like next in line. You know, I got it. I got it. We okay. Just, wait, I got it, babe. So just one, one, one <laughs> chop away. <laughs> uh, can I pull you for a chat? <laughs> <laughs> hey, sir, are you, are you ready? What do you want? Uh, <laughs> sir, I like how I this is a long line. Hey. <laughs> Uh, let me get what was it babe i want Thanks. the three tacos let me get the three tacos we have so many meats you can't give me <laughs> one um, of three tacos. it was a carnitas no, no carne asada no what <laughs> what was the meat the tacos can you just come up here i don't know why yeah, you guys okay were like, you know what I, 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 you just, just this line you is. pick it babe you what, saw the instagram what would you post suggest? You know I'm a carnitas man. Carnitas? Yeah. Right. Actually, the taco de lengua. You taco know de saying? lengua. Taco oh. de lengua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, I got you, fam. Get the three of them. Here you go. Thanks. Dump her. <laughs> get rid of her. What? She's tracking you down. Next. Next customer. All right. Uh, Ooh, here. Yeah, those look go. really good. Thank you, babe. Yeah. Do you want to walk to your place yeah let's let's yeah you're you're gonna go get food too so i have to wait to eat this uh no you can you can eat it while we're on the way i just i just need to wait that, okay it'll be fine let's walk okay oh my god wait you got to talk to me about something yeah uh so yeah anyway so like <laughs> chad he was like coming to my desk yeah. like, oh, I'm so sir hungry. huh please have these tacos <laughs> they were highly rated on um doordash oh uh, what kind of tacos are they uh what kind are they babe taco de lengua he was telling me at the thing it was crazy they great. have salsa no oh, you, don't, you don't get salsa with your tacos <laughs> <laughs> no this is cool this is really nice you know what actually babe those look really good yeah that was really sweet of you could you go back in line and give me some <sighs> more <laughs> uh, <laughs> look <laughs> <laughs> All like right. it's like oh it's not really that going to be that long of a line. Look, and I've had a long day. You know, I just I babe, really would like it if I like so you know, was able to go Seri get my food. This is the grossest thing. And you know, I'll I'll wait <sighs> for you to wait. <laughs> this is like not that big of a deal. It's, like it's just a line. The yeah, people just, are goes, hey, like I said, hey, I <laughs> hey, what hey, you give me? Shut up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you idiot. Oh you got God. free tacos. Oh Babe, don't talk There's to him no like salsa. that. Hey. Babe, don't talk to him. Okay. Don't talk to him like okay. that. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank Can you, you for go? defending me. Shut up. Oh my God. <laughs> Tell me. Can't you see what I'm having a conversation? Babe, I'm babe. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Babe. I just wanted some salsa. <laughs> it's so dry. No salsa. Okay, okay. Yeah. Babe, stop them. Okay, okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, but it's been a long it's day. It's just you know? like. It's not going to take that long. Like the line, what was it? Like 30 minutes? Please. I, I was just, on TikTok the whole time. I know. I know. I know. I just, you know, I was telling you all that I'm stuff joking. about Chad at work. I just, I really need to. I'm joking. <laughs> keep so doing it. Oh God, Choke me. then. Wow. No water. Me. Popeye's biscuit. <laughs> no honey. Why are you okay. doing this to me? Yeah, it's, um, I'm, I'm just sorry. I just, yeah, I can't. You so what you want to walk somewhere else? Because I really wanted I'm, those tacos. Yeah, if we can go to a different restaurant, we can we can do that. We I'm can go to a different restaurant and just like completely. Can problem. somebody save this guy's oh life? Or He's like him. interrupting <laughs> our conversation. Two. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, man. Oh. oh, oh, thank you, babe. He just spit that on me. Oh yeah, 
My bad, my bad. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I got, a, I got, a, I got a guy that uh, stabbed somebody yeah, a couple of stories tacos. ago. Maybe he what can just. Hey, can you can you come just stab listen, this homeless man? Listen, Real Brandon, quick. I'm not asking you to oh go to, to war for me. I'm asking you to stand into a, in a line. You're not asking me to go to war for you. It's tacos. Hey, you can't you do that. Why do you have that knife, sir? No, God! Oh my God! <laughs> and see. <laughs> Um, so I think that's the end of the episode. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, my camera's off. Oh, my goodness. Wait, come to one, to one of these cameras. Oh. Bye. Bye.